your husband in my prayer. Oh, okay. thank you. Hi. Hi. I'm Jane. And I'm Pam. Pam. Good buddy Pam. And this is Mocha. Mocha, who just had nine puppies, and we have found homes for all of them. She's a little sad, but she's doing much better now. We're now looking like for her a forever home. Uh, I've been a safe volunteer for about seven years, right? Sure. Yep, at least that. And over the years, um, I think I've done just about everything. Cleaning cats, dogs, kennels, uh, working in the thrift store, walking dogs, whatever was, you know, whatever was needed. And then Pam has become my best buddy at the thrift store. We work hard, get things sorted, and, um, so they look nice and get up on the display rack and make money for dogs and cats. Yeah, my name, my name's Pam, and I've been here a little over three years, and I can't think of a better place to volunteer. What makes it so special is, one, the name, SAFE, Saving Animals from Euthanasia, but it also means a safe place for other babies, and that means a lot. But, I said, but what makes this place so special is the people and our customers volunteers and all the big hearts and, and we make it fun and you know we get great joy when we see our little babies find homes and what's really special about safe is that we don't just take the healthy animals, we take those that are handicapped or have been shot or you know missing limbs and, and heartworms and you know they get so much love and I can't think of a better place spend my time, nor would I, um, because it brings such joy to my heart and all my special friends that I've met um, here at SAFE, not just volunteers, but it's vet tech, Robin, who has a heart of gold. Um, sometimes I wonder how it just doesn't burst so big, but it's the people. And our little furry friends, when they make you here, they know they're going to be loved, and we will find hope for them. I'm Doris Judy, and I'm doing something really exciting tomorrow. I have had Sweetie too since before Christmas. She's had a broken leg. She's a little gray poodle, and she leaves tomorrow to go to her new family in Texas, and I am taking her. Oh, You're wow. driving her to Texas. I'm driving her to Texas. Yes. Exciting. We deliver. We deliver. <laughs> <laughs> I just work here one day a week. Come, and I love to see the animals. I work in the thrift shop, and I just love it. I'm a newbie. You are a newbie. You're a great newbie. Hi, I'm Judy, and I have been with SAFE since almost the beginning. We have come from having no shelter and having to do our adoptions at a church parking lot to going to some of the shops, like the pet supermarket and the pet smart stores. And now um, I've worked in the shop. I have fostered dogs at my house, fostered cats for many years, and I love SAFE. And it is about the people. It's a wonderful organization, a private rescue. We get no funds from government. The only way we get our funds is through donations and the profits that we make in our shop. And it's all run by volunteers. So the staff and the volunteers are just great. Uh, my current job, because I'm a little disabled, is to answer the telephone a quarter every day. I have done that for the last four years, and um, it's been very interesting, and it's good to see all the good people that are out there who care about animals. And some of my friends say, gosh, that must be a sad job working to get homeless animals home. And I tell them it's just the opposite. It's very fulfilling and it gives me the opportunity to do something and I think that the fact that all of our volunteers and staff do something um, is a good thing as opposed to just turning your head and saying oh it's too sad I can't do it um, it's a very a very fulfilling job and I love it and I love I just love everything about safe and I think it's keeping me alive so I appreciate it Thank you. My name is Sally Gomes, and I've been with SAFE probably about five or six years now. 
and uh, I work in the thrift shop that supports all the animals that we save. Every penny that we make in the thrift shop goes towards the animals, vet bills, food, etc. And um, we like to say that our thrift shop uh, shows very well to people. We try to keep it looking upscale. And one of the things I do is to work on the displays to display some of our merchandise, which we try to keep nice. And this encourages people to keep coming back and, and to buying our items so we can help more animals. I'm so I enjoy working here. It's a very good organization. Hi, my name is Carolyn. I've been with SAFE since January of 2009 when I adopted the first of my three cats and have been here uh, ever since working with cats and the paperwork. This was girl is Gabriella, and she's up for adoption. She came to us as a pregnant kitty and had uh, five or six babies, all of whom have found homes, and now we want to find her a home. And we are expanding our cattery, and very soon they will be in a much larger room that they can run around in and play in, and we're hoping they enjoy it even more than our existing cattery. It also means that we can rescue many more cats from the high kill shelters where animals are put in the All of our cats are from the high kill shelters and they're just gorgeous, sweet animals that we want to buy tokens for. Hi, I'm Linda Blair Moore. I work with the cats part time as a cleaner and feeder and whatever else needs to be done with them. And then I volunteer in the thrift shop as well on Thursday. Um, I've been here over three years. Um, and enjoy working with these. And we'd like to get all these beautiful babies adopted. I think I'm good. She's a beautiful <laughs> baby. They are. They're all over the place. <laughs> I've been working with Sadie. Uh, let's see. Beth, I guess it's ten years almost. Uh, I'm known as the Cat Lady. We didn't have. We didn't bring a, a real cat down because we have the doors open, and you know they're escape artists. But one of the things that I think Crazy Sally told you is that you know all of the money that we get uh, goes to our animals, and so one of the things that we're trying to do is keep the shop attractive, a little more upscale, and as you can see from the people coming in the doorway, we do very well. They like what we have. Uh, the people that donate to us are wonderful. They're all animal lovers, and they're great. So I'm going back to work now. I was Jeremy Gordon. I worked at SAFE for about two years. I just like working here, thinking of the animals and all the nice people I work with. Thank you. And I worked with Joan, and we managed the cash register. Well, we tried to. It's kind of chaotic at times, but we always seem to get, get it done with a lot of help. I can't think of a better place to volunteer than SAFE. Thank you.